going to jams for Hit Music Lives, that new single by Raven Roberts in the mix with Change Man. Right about now, the time is Chat Trap time, 11.30 on the dot. So we got to talk about all your hot topics in the media. Same time, letting you know the Chat Trap is brought to you by Easy Payday Loans. And Easy Payday Loans knows life gets a bit hard sometimes, but they are making it easier for you to receive financial help in under an hour. You can apply online anytime and anywhere. Start your own application on Easy Payday Loans website, just grab your phone and log on to www.easypayday.loans. Right now, since we playing that Raven Roberts change, talking about changing, talking about learning when to walk away, the hottest topic um, that's hitting the headlines right now is the whole Khloe Kardashian and Tristan Thompson. So for all of my ladies listening, it's so important to know when to walk away because some men and I'd say my opinion are just so embarrassing to be with, honestly. We all know the streets talk, especially if you're in a popular relationship, but at some point, if the streets start talking just a little bit too much, I think you should at least listen just a little bit, man. But right now, talking about this whole Tristan Thompson and Khloe Kardashian, it's more cheating allegations in the media, but this time it's involving kids. So last week, an Instagram model, claimed to have been hooking up with Tristan Thompson after he rekindled things with Khloe Kardashian. And now Tristan Thompson, baby mother, who Khloe had allegedly stole him from, is reaching out to Khloe Kardashian, wanting to share information about two kids he possibly had while he was with Khloe and that he might just have another one on the way. And maybe this is why Tristan had purchased Khloe. I think, what, the engagement ring was worth about $2 million dollars. I think about two million and she you know she had it posted up on social media it's a very beautiful ring but maybe this is why he probably purchased it for her especially during this time because you know something was gonna leak very soon but ladies when is the right time to walk away the first time when a guy mess up the second time the third time the fourth fifth tenth sixteen i don't know sometimes we wait till the 20th time to really walk away from it but i'm just saying it's so embarrassing sometimes to see the things that you know someone would do while they're with you and then you're still trying to walk around with your head held high it's like just walk away from the situation it's definitely not a good look but despite the incident that took place last year july between tory lanes and megan the stallion and the fact that many artists had either dissed him completely and decided to no longer release projects they had with him siding with megan the stallion of course tory lanes have still been making music as well as major moves and his recent major move which he just announced that him and chris brown are working on a joint album and i wonder if this has anything to do with their shared experience Seeing that back in 2009, I'm sure you remembered when Chris Brown was charged with felony assault after the altercation with Rihanna, and he did plead guilty and was sentenced to serve five years probation and 1,400 hours of community service. Now Tory Lanez is still awaiting the outcome of his case with Megan Thee Stallion. So I really want to see what's coming out of that, because you see Tory Lanez has been heavy on the headlines. Um, he got new music coming out. He's doing remixes to all the favorite dance hall songs. And it's just like, okay, so what's going on with the case? I know it's pretty private right now, but I even want to know what's happening at this point. But let's talk a bit about COVID because, you know, we got to keep you up to date with what's going on with that. So a look at um, the COVID-19 vaccine passports. If you didn't know, they are out right now. And they do have apps around the globe basically just helping persons out so you can know who's vaccinated and who is not vaccinated. But they also have, I think, what the new platinum card of the COVID-19 is the vaccine certificate as well. And it is a document that has existed for more than two centuries because, you know, once you get your vaccines, um, yeah, for years now we've been getting vaccines. But for some reason, it seems as though that this year the COVID-19 vaccine is just different um, for all of us. But I don't know what's going to go on with that. But they're saying, of course, having a COVID-19 passport is not really the COVID-19 vaccine passport is not really stating that, OK, you won't be welcome to travel if you don't have it or you won't be um, welcome to like go to restaurants. I'm not saying that as yet. But I'm saying for them to kind of start thinking about it, I don't know, it just makes you start thinking, okay, what's going to happen from there? But that's it for Chat Trap. Just keep me up to date with a few things that is going on in the media right now. And remember that Chat Trap is brought to you by Easy Payday Loans. And Easy Payday is giving you low fees and the most competitive rates on any loan you apply for. 
That's instant loans, auto loans, loan consolidation, and quick financial assistance. So refer a friend and Easy Payday Loans will pay you. You heard right, Easy Payday will give you $100 when you, as an existing client, refer a friend. But remember, terms and conditions do apply. You can call or visit them today. That's 603-0200 or visit them at their new location on University Drive. Right now, got you, Future Showtime Shoddy, without the trenches.